throughout this course, we're going to look at different ways where we can select things and try and take advantage of the automated tools. But it's still very important that you get a really good grasp on the basic lasso tools because, frankly, there will be times where you just, no matter what you try and do with an automated tool, you'll still need to tweak it by hand. So we have three options to pick from. The regular lasso tool, which is some people call it the freeform lasso tool. This one is literally a click and drag in any old shape you want, and it will make a selection. Note, you don't have to go right back where you started. Let me do this again. If I just let go somewhere, it will automatically join up. So if you're not careful and let go in the wrong place, you'll get an odd kind of a shape. So one of the general rules of the lasso tool is make sure you go at least far enough to create almost like a loop so then it will finish off the loop for you. This tool definitely has its pros and cons. The advantage is it'll select anything you want it to, so it's not going to be tied or try and do anything to help you automatically, but that's also its downside. It's up to you. So if I was going to try to select this dancer, it might be kind of challenging, and I'd have to have a pretty steady, steady mouse hand to be able to make a good selection, and it would take a lot of time and effort. Thankfully, there are other tools that... Uh, there are lasso tools that can be better than that. But again, the key is at least understanding the concept of how this tool works. What I would frankly often try is the magnetic lasso tool because it does actually try to help you. Let's zoom in just a little bit on this dancer here. And if I want to try and separate her off the background as we've seen in other examples, I just click once and now what's happening is that the tool is looking for edges of contrast. So because there's a fairly good difference between her and the sky behind her, as I start to drag, it's looking for those edges. Now you'll notice that as I drag occasionally like there, it went somewhere I didn't want. Well, if that happens, just don't do anything else. Just hit the delete key. And what you may need to do if it keeps trying to go somewhere you don't want, is just click once to kind of force it to put a handle somewhere. Again, you can always delete and if it keeps doing it, just sort of force it to go where you want. Now occasionally it just will go somewhere you don't want it to go and that's fine because as we'll see later we can fine tune. I'm just going to cut across here and say we want to continue up here. You can notice it's still doing a pretty decent job and I can actually move relatively quickly with this because there's a fairly defined edge here. Now, here's one of the most important things to learn about the magnetic lasso tool, and that's how to get it to stop. What often happens when the first time they try this is that it's the never-ending tool. They can't get it to stop. If you look really closely, and I can't really zoom in to show you, but see what just happened there as I'm moving my mouse over, that little dot, a little circle is appearing. That's the indicator to tell me I'm about to close off this lasso. So you see there, it's done. Now, if I were to deselect that, and I'll move even faster this time just to show you that even if you're gone I wouldn't recommend going at this breakneck speed but it still does a pretty decent job all things considered except for that part some reason just doesn't like that part now what often happens to people is they think they've closed it off but they haven't they don't realize they didn't see that circle so they click and they try and get it to stop and they end up with this happening and even if you go and click on the move tool it doesn't help so if that ever happens to you just double click and that will tell Photoshop you're finished. You'll have to deselect and start over again. Now, a lot of people try the magnetic lasso tool and kind of give up on it. And frankly, I think it's because they have too high an expectation. If you're expecting the magnetic lasso tool to quickly and easily make a perfect selection, it probably won't. But when you compare between the magnetic lasso tool and the regular lasso tool, this is still gives you a much better start because my philosophy, my goal is going to be to end up with a really good selection. So even though I missed a whole bit there, and again, I'm going really quickly to show you, well, I missed a bit there too. That's still okay considering it took me 30 seconds. Now I would go back to the regular lasso tool, and as we'll talk about, I can fine tune this to add more pieces. If I missed parts or got too much, I can certainly do that. So I would often, again, use the magnetic lasso tool since it is pretty automated as a tool to try as long as you go with the expectation of it generally doing a good job, not a great job. But 
goal number one is to end up with a really good selection this will be a good way to start that so let's open another photo this one here now this will be a candidate for the polygonal lasso tool because I see straight lines anytime you see very straight lines that's what this tool does every time you click it will change direction so I would start over here click once see how it has a straight line I can nicely line that up I see a change in direction again click once click again every time I see a slight change in direction then all I'm doing is clicking once I don't have to keep the mouse held down I'm just clicking once now for this part I as you can see I can literally go right outside the document window same rule applies see that little circle just appeared there click now it's got that whole area selected that was pretty quick and easy and that's the advantage of the polygonal lasso tool now fortunately it only works if you have something with very straight lines in it but you know depending on the situation I want to select part of the parking lot down here I see again very straight lines so not every day will we be doing that but for situations that require it it does a great job when you simply want to select things that have very very straight lines now I'd like to share with you my favorite lasso trick because one of the realities is in this case it's not I don't have an example to share with you right now but we'll just use this not every time do we want to make a selection that's only straight lines or only free form or whatever combination we want to be able to on the fly switch between all three tools now this I'll tell you up front this takes a bit of practice but it's well worth getting used to because it can really save you a lot of time because we can quite literally switch between all three lasso tools on the fly to make a selection and what you do is you start with the magnetic lasso tool and you start to create something then you put your finger on the option or alt key now if I just keep going it's gonna still just be the magnetic lasso tool looking for edges but if I come across something that I know like this has straight edges without letting go of option I'll, I click once and look what happens it switches to the polygonal lasso tool now for the sake of argument I wanted to add a portion which is freeform I click and hold and I get the freeform lasso tool let go and I'm back to the polygonal lasso tool and if for some reason I wanted to go back to the magnetic I would let go of option or alt click once and now I'm back to the magnetic tool I'm going to do that again to show you but you can see how in one step I was able to make a selection which was the combination of all three so let's go through that again shall we because as I said it takes a bit of practice and I would honestly start on just any old image without even attempting to select something specific just so you get the timing all right so here it goes again start with the magnetic lasso tool drag a little bit don't let go put your finger on option or alt now every time you do a single click it will change to the polygonal lasso tool if you want to make a freeform selection keep your finger on option alt, just drag and drop or drag and drop just drag around sorry just drag 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 its regular lasso tool click once again to go polygonal and then if you want to go back to magnetic let go of option alt click once and you'll see it switches back to the magnetic and now you can finish it off so please don't be surprised if it takes a bit of getting used to because this took me a while to kind of get the hang of it but I gotta say I use it quite often because it's a great way to take advantage of all the lasso tools together very shortly we'll be talking about how to fine-tune your selection that's why it's important to know the regular lasso tool because as good as the other tools like quick selection can be there will still be plenty of times we need to just do that little bit of tweaking and that's where the lasso tools come into play